Hey, welcome to the Guaranteed Retirement Guy Show. So today I'm going to talk about fixed index annuities, one of my favorite types of investments. So fixed index annuities can be a very safe way uh, to protect your money and also build a massive amount of income and wealth. So you can use these annuities for growth, you can use them for income, you can use them for both. Just depends on what you're looking for. Uh, you also have fixed index annuities that have absolutely no fees. And then you have some with fees. Now, before you think, hey, I got to go with the no fee one, remember, it really depends on your goals. A lot of times the ROI is much, much higher, sometimes triple from the fee annuities. So just think about that when you're looking at fixed index annuities. Don't rule out just, you know, don't rule out the fee-based ones. Uh, make sure you look at the fee versus non-fee. So non-fee fixed index annuities, typically what you would do is you'll put your money, let's say it's $250,000. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring, up, bring up an example here because I wanna kind of see what this would do here. If I was looking at a no fee annuity, okay, and let's say my investment amount is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, okay. So what I would do is, if you if you called in and you say, "Hey, John, I've got two hundred fifty thousand um, dollars. I want to have the highest growth possible. I don't want any fees whatsoever. I don't want to pay anything. I just want growth and I want protection against the stock market." Then what I would typically do is I'll plug in. I've got your name. I got your age. And then I'll look at, are you, are you thinking about taking income from this or are you just looking for just growth? And so based off of that, then I can pull in what, which, which fixed index annuities would be the best for that situation. So in this case, I'm looking at a 57-year-old male, um, $250,000 investment. And if he was to take income right now, okay, like I'm talking next month, he puts $250,000 in and now he wants income for the rest of his life. Okay, he's looking at roughly $11,660 for the rest of his life. So let's say this guy lives for another 35 years. So we'll just figure that out. 35 years times $11,660, that is $408,000 in income. Not bad. Now, that's only if he lives 35 years. What if he lives longer? So what if he lives shorter, though? Well, if he li if, if let's say he only lives 10 years, well, what happens at that point? Well, people ask, well, what happens to my money? The money just goes to your beneficiaries. So whatever's left in the, inside the account goes to your kids or your, your family who, or whoever, uh, you know, a charity. It doesn't matter. That money does not stay with the insurance company. So keep that in mind. One company I do like, so, so the one that I was just talking about was American Equity, and they are really good as far as income. Uh, another company... And I'm just talking about the no fee index uh, annuities right now. Uh, Midland National is showing uh, eleven thousand three seventy five. So, and I and I look at uh, the top companies and I'll kind of filter them out and see which one pays the highest amount, which one has the highest growth. I do typically like the Midland National just because they have an inverse index, which means if the market goes down, you can make money. Uh, and when the market goes up, you make money. So there's virtually no year where you don't make, uh, there, there's never a year where you make zero, okay? Which I love that. So if you were to say, you know what? I don't need income right now. I don't mind waiting, let's say 25 years, okay? So we'll just, I'll just scroll this out. So what I'm doing is I'll just kind of move the bar out and then it'll filter out different companies that are better because some companies are much better for longer term versus shorter term. And the reason being is they have a roll-up rate. So what's a roll-up rate? A roll-up rate is a guaranteed rate of return for income purposes. So guaranteed rate of return for income might be seven or eight or even 9%. And this is just for the purpose of receiving income. And so for this illustration, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm stretching this out 25 years. So this same 57-year-old male, he put $250,000 in. Now these same annuities are paying between, well, the Midland is paying $26,000 while, uh, while the American equity is paying $32,000 in, in income. But if you're looking for straight growth, I can show you that typically American equity um, will not perform the way that Midland National will. And that's just because Midland National has, uh, they have higher participation rates 
in the index, which means they allow you to participate in more of the index earnings versus American equity might only allow you to participate in half of it. So looking at the growth here, 250,000 would probably grow to 518,000 in 25 years. Okay, so compare that to the Midland National, same numbers, all right? It's, it, it's growing with whatever the index is doing. If the index makes 10%, it makes 10%. If the index makes nothing, it makes nothing. So it's not being throttled, okay? It's giving a high participation rate. So if I look at that, the average growth that I'm seeing here is much higher. <laughs> We're talking in 30 years, well over a million dollars, maybe even 1.5 million. So, and that's just off of regular average growth. So you can see there's a huge difference and that's because they allow them to participate more in the index. So let's go back to the roll-up rates. And so for this example, I'm going to go to now a fee-based fixed annuity. When, when you're looking at fees, you wanna know what are these fees gonna get you? What are the benefits of these fees? And so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to look at only fee-based. And again, I'm not showing my computer uh, with you right now, but if you were to call in or if we had a Zoom meeting, I would actually go over these numbers with you and I, I would show them to you and we would go over it and you'd see my computer screen and, and you can kind of pick from there. You can see which ones are paying the most depending on what you're looking for. All right, so here's the difference. Same $250,000. Remember the highest income was 32,000, okay? That's guaranteed lifetime income, not bad. Now, if you change it to a fee, the highest, the highest annuity I'm seeing right now, uh, highest uh, income uh, payout for that annuity is AIG, okay? Not bad, AIG is actually paying out 65,625 in guaranteed income, more than double what the no fee one did. So I don't mind paying an extra $100,000 in fees if I know it's gonna give me another million dollars in income. Okay, that's really what you have to think about, total ROI. So the fees are worth it if you're looking for a lot of income. Okay, so that's AIG. If, and that's after 25 years, you're getting $65,000. Now, the growth is there as well. I mean, you, you have the 1% fee. Maybe instead of your account growing to one and a half million, maybe it'll, it'll only grow to 1.2, 1.3 million. Okay, but if you were using that to leave money behind, then it makes sense to go with a no fee annuity. But if you want something that also gives you the highest amount of income, then it might make sense to go with a fee annuity. So these fee annuities typically have high roll-up rates. So I mentioned roll-up rates in the beginning and I want to talk about that some more right now. So just let me just uh, change the numbers here and I'm gonna say 500,000. We we'll do 65 year old male, $500,000 investment, but let's say, let's say I don't need my income for two years, okay? Actually, you know what, let's say five years. I want to see what the power of this uh, roll-up rate will do, and I want and that'll kind of help me explain this to you. All right, so the highest one that I'm looking at right now, uh, one of the highest actually. So, so Eagle Life Insurance Company is one, and American Equity is the other. Um, the roll-up rate for American Equity is 8.25 percent. So basically, what they're doing is they take that $500,000. And for, and for this example, it's actually dropping into uh, an annuity called uh, Income Shield, Income Shield 10. And that annuity pays a 10% bonus, premium bonus. So if you put $500,000 in, you get $50,000 that goes into that account that starts working for you. If you've got a million bucks going in there, they put $100,000 in there that starts working for you. The trade-off, because there's always a trade-off, right? Is if you get a premium bonus and you get that, that free money being put in there, that you typically, uh, the trade-off is less growth over time, okay? So if you're looking to build wealth in this account and leave money to your, to your heirs, it might not be the best one. But if you're looking for high income, high total ROI from your investment, they're awesome. So if I look at American Equity, and let's say I put $500,000 in, okay? Um, that account, it might grow to $600,000 in five years, okay? I'd say that's reasonable. So let's say it grows to 600,000 in five years. That's great. I mean, if I turn on income, let's say even 5% income, it's not gonna give me very much compared to the income base account. So let's talk about the roll-up rate again. The roll-up rate on this is 8.25%. 
So what the company is doing is they are treating your account as if it is earning 8.25% uh, every single year, okay? So you're rolling this rate up, so it's guaranteed. So your account might not be worth it. Your account might be only worth $600,000 cash, but the actual income base will be worth much more. So for this one, I'm seeing it actually grows to $776,000, uh, the income value account, because they're applying the 8.25% roll-up every single year. And so then at that point, at age 69.70, uh, you're taking the lifetime withdrawal rate, which is also rises over time. And at this point, I'm showing a 7.25%. So 7.25% multiplied by 776,875 equals $56,323 in guaranteed income every single year for the rest of your life. And that's if you turn it on in five years. Um, and then you can see if you live to your mid 90s, you're taking out $1.4 million of guaranteed income um, that you um, will never outlive. So pretty phenomenal. So it's really important when you're looking at fixed index annuities, look for a couple of things, okay? One, look for an A-rated company. Okay, look for a company that has uh, high ratings because if they have high ratings, they're safe. They usually have been around for about 100 years or more, much longer sometimes. And they have high reserves. And that's really important when you're looking for safety. When you have high reserves, uh, the likelihood of that company ever going out of business is very, very small. Not to mention these companies are state insured and they also have extra insurance um, that they get from other companies as well. So there's a lot of different layers of protection for these. So you're looking at, at credibility, right? You're looking at their ratings. Another thing you need to look at are um, roll-up rates, guaranteed roll-up rates. Now remember, when they're saying guaranteed 7%, 8%, 9%, they're not talking about that's what your actual account value you know, that you can take out and spend is going to make. They're not talking about that. That account value is tied to an external index. And if that external index goes up, it does make money. If the external index goes down, you don't lose any money. You know, you don't make any money, but you don't lose any money, okay? So that's what, what your real account does. Your income base account is completely different. They're treating the exact same account over here, but they're treating it with, uh, with a guaranteed roll-up rate. So if that roll-up rate is 7% over 20 years, then they're saying, hey, if you let this money sit and grow for 20 years, or how, you know, however long, maybe you only decide to do it for 10 years. For this particular example, let's say you do it for 20 years. They're going to guarantee that that count will be treated as if it is earning 7% every single year until you turn on that income. And they'll just multiply that entire income account value by the lifetime withdrawal rate, which could be 7 or 8 or 9% or more. So it's pretty phenomenal the way this works. And you're generally generating a lot more income from an income base account than you ever would from the real account value. So they're pretty phenomenal the way they work. Uh, if you want me to take a look at this for you, I'd be happy to. Um, typically what I do is I'll get on a Zoom call and I'll share my screen. We'll play with some numbers and I plug in your info, your age, you know, if you're married, if it needs to be a joint payout, uh, we look at everything and I'll look at all the companies and look at the different payouts. I'll explain the roll-up rates and let you decide. Really, it's, it, it's not for me to tell you what to do with your money. It's really just for you to kind of learn, get some information and uh, really the product sells itself but I'm here to help uh, make sure that you get the right information. I don't wanna sit here and try to sell you a particular annuity. I'd rather you just see what's available. And that really, I think, makes it easier um, for people to pick because then, then they know that what they're getting is the best. They're not taking my word for it or, or any other professional's word for it that can see for themselves. So anyways, that's the way I like to work. If you have any questions, just, just reach out to me. Anyways, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.